Bunny, I would like, if I may, to start off this 157th episode of The Pope on Film by talking yet again, once again, I would like to once again start the podcast by talking yet again about the lyrics to Aretha Franklin songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is oh, a long how standing. Many times? It, it always seems when it turns to winter, your heart goes to Aretha Franklin. Yep. Oh, how many times I've started this podcast discussing the lyrics to an Aretha Franklin song numerous times across numerous episodes. And if you don't know that, then sorry, but you're not really a fan. Yeah. So suck it. Yeah. So, so this always bugged me. Her classic song, Respect. Uh huh. You, you know that song. Everybody knows that song. It's a wonderful song. Uh, Interesting aside before we get to the lyrics, did you know that it was originally written uh, for a man? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. By the, always... by the way, just a very quick aside, when you yes. do things like this, stories like this, I think maybe you should call them Mandela smatterings. Mandela smatterings. That's nice. I like that. Like new yeah. smatterings. You just got a bunch of of musical things that you just have to say they're not really Mandela effects, but yeah, 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 because this is something, this is a Mandela smattering, it's a little something that upsets me but anyway, Otis Redding originally wrote the song Respect in 1965 and it was fairly sexist it's about a man who demands respect from his woman, oh, because he yeah. brings the money home, and so he demands a little respect from his woman then two years later, Aretha Franklin turned the sexist song into a female empowering song. And at first, Otis Redding was pissed about it. Well. <laughs> Eventually, he... Having to take that shit from an uppity woman? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, he writes this song and everyone goes, oh, that's a pretty good song. And then someone else gets the song and then rewrites it for women. And suddenly everyone goes, this is the greatest song ever written. Thank it's, you, Aretha yeah. Franklin. It's like Warren Beatty getting his hands of of You're So Vain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll get you. So, in fact, at the 1967 Monterey Pop Festival, Otis Redding sang Respect, and he opened it by saying, this is a song that a girl stole from me. <laughs> but he said it like, but but he said it with that, like, a smile and grin that, that like, hey, I said something that was kind of dickish, but I'm Otis Redding, so you still have to love me. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling, Rolling Stone named Aretha Franklin's Respect as one of the top five songs of all time. So it's a song that everybody knows, and it's a song that everybody loves, but... Well, that's that's kind of the problem, is that is that blacks get shit, Mexicans get shit, Chinese get shit. Everybody gets some shit, but women get shit from everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But here's the thing. There's a part of the song that I never understood, which is strange, because it's the most well-known part of the song. Okay. So, Bunny, help me out here, okay? Help me out here, okay? Uh -huh. The song goes... R E S P E C T. Uh huh. Find, find out, out what, what it means. To find me. out what it means to me. Yeah. R E S P E C T. And what's next? Sock it to me. Sock, sock it, it to me. me. It. No, she says something, and then it's sock it to me. Sock it to me. Sock it to me. Oh, it's that garbled stuff that you don't understand. Yeah, garbled stuff. Yeah. See, I always thought she was saying take out ECT and that doesn't make sense because when you take out ECT you're left with the word resp okay. and what is resp what is she trying to say you want respect but you you don't want full respect so you just want resp that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. what is resp so I binged the lyrics yeah I binged the lyrics to Aretha Franklin's respect right like you do okay a and that part it wasn't even in the lyrics. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Like, what the hell, Bing? So I did some digging, and by digging, I mean I just finally used Google. 
And so I eventually found that missing lyric. So the song goes, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, take care, T-C-B. But then, okay. but then, but then, what does that mean? Take, <laughs> take, taking TCB, taking care of business. But then, why would she say "take care, taking care of business"? That makes no sense. That's repetitive. That's just bad songwriting, PT. Yeah. So, so what is TCB? Is, is it taking care of business? Is it Tokyo Crime Boss? Well, it, it, it would it would have to be some kind of a person for it to take care. Take care. Yeah, but so then, so then, wouldn't it be like Aretha Franklin? Wouldn't it be "Take care" from AF or something? Like I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she's talking about the name of a yoga fr- uh, of a yogurt franchise. Possibly, possibly. CBY, TCB yogurt. Are those even around that, anymore? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Is that even still a thing? Are they and yogurt her, places? Her, Honey, do you know if there are any yogurt places anymore? There is. Yeah. Yes, frozen yogurt. Mm-hmm. It's it's not yeah, all gelato yeah. now. <laughs> no, there's a frozen yogurt well, place over TV by uh, the Dollar Tree. You know what if about, you know if you're you're vegan and you eat gelato, the vegan police will come after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, like uh, like in uh, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, and like I don't know, I don't know if. I should show Jeannie this movie or not? Because she's she's only good for a movie once or twice, unless it's really something good like Guardians of the Galaxy. Because Scott Pilgrim just fucking grows on you. Yeah, it does. It's a great movie. I really wish that Scott Pilgrim had been a success. Rolling Stone did a, a review of it where it said that it was a game changer. And I can't imagine... Th- I I I like to fantasize about a world where Scott Pilgrim was a huge money making success. Yeah, like yeah. I, I and, and I, I'm I, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I hate when people know? like Rolling Stone misuse phrases. Yeah, it's not a game changer because the game hasn't changed. But it could have been a game changer if it was a success. If it was a su- su- success, yeah. Yeah, if this yeah. film like made, like somebody like, had once um, called Ray Harryhausen a game changer, and I'm like, no, he's not, because the only one who did Ray Harryhausen yeah. was Ray fucking Harryhausen, <laughs> you yeah. know. And another thing, uh, are there still Hardys? Uh, I think all, all Hardys are Carl's Juniors. Okay, because in in Phoenix we had Carl's Juniors, but then in Tucson. In Tucson, they had Hardee's, and that's how you, that was one of the many ways you could tell if someone was from Tucson. They would go, oh, where's the nearest Hardee's? Oh, it's in Tucson, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Get the hell out of here with your Hardee's crap. <laughs> oh, I figured out what TCB stands for. What? Figured it out. Tickle Carmen's Balls. Tickle Carmen's Balls. Carmen, the eighties Christian musician and idol buster, uh, he likes his balls tickled. I, I I would imagine. So this but, is but, a, but this just is, for our listeners so that they realize if sometime in February the Rev starts talking about um Roberta Flack. Oh yeah. Then that means six more weeks of winter. Pretty but much. But he's if he's still on Aretha Aretha Franklin. Spring is soon. Yeah. So for new listeners... In about six weeks. (laughs) For new listeners of the Pope on Film podcast, this opening bit that we just completed is a good roadmap for our show. Start off with discussing some song lyrics, sprinkle in a dash of history, and then you end the bit so far off of the original mark that you set that by the end of this segment... We're now discussing a Christian musician's balls. Yes. The Pope on Film, America's 1,406th favorite podcast. I, I, I wonder if there is a video out there somewhere with Carmen saying, Carmen, Carmen naked from the waist down, like, I'd like to thank Jesus for my balls. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 
thank you. My balls have just the right amount of hair. That is the power of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>